Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul are releasing Lunchly, a Lunchables competitor. It will feature a Prime and Feastables, and it's got obviously KI, Lo KS, KIA, KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. B, who's been embroiled in some really wild stuff lately. Some like really crazy stuff that I'm really excited to see just be done. I'm really looking forward to the end. <gasps> of all that stuff. Oh my god, I hate drama so f***ing much, bro. But this is the biggest drama. Slow news day, I guess. People are very upset that uh, Lunchly has been released. Uh, it's a product, it's f***ing... This is really poorly made, by the way. I'm just now realizing this is all photoshopped in. This is like AI or something. You can see it's all edited and this. these are fake. <laughs> It's actually really funny. But yeah, so, you know, first instinct as an adult man, which is not who this is marketed to, I don't really care. This isn't something I would ever eat. It looks like slop. I'm an adult. I'm not gonna eat that. Uh, this is marketed to children though. Uh, adults, I assume, are not the target audience. Kids already eat a lot of really shitty food. Like, that's the reality. There's a lot of terrible stuff. There's a lot of candies that exist out there. There's a lot of things that pretend to be healthy but aren't. But, like, let's be real. Kids aren't eating healthy. And it's not the kids' fault. It's their parents, schools, all that shit. It's up to the fucking individual, obviously. People are really upset by Logan Paul, KSI, all these guys coming together. Plain Rock 124 said, we'll make kids more I've always said a healthy lunch consists of prime feastables and variation of food. This lunch has it made for brains, not taste. Wow, more subpar, cheaply made shit with YouTuber branding on it. So, you know, people are rightfully mad. YouTubers, these guys love making money. They love it. I hope it's better than Lunchables. I don't really fucking know. But massive YouTuber Dan TDM came out and said, what happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. Now, there's a lot of ways to interpret this. A, yes, of course. Selling things generally is to make money, especially when it comes to anybody with a child audience, which we all acknowledge that Logan Paul, especially just there's not an adult man who's like, dude, I fucking love Logan Paul, dude. Did you see the way he ran shirtless uh, across in the WWE? Did you see that? He was so sweaty and talented. And he flew through the air like an angel. And nobody's like, oh, I love how he's suing CoffeeZilla for his crypto scam that he did. Nobody's saying that really, to be honest. No adults, at least. I think most of the people who love them are just children who don't know any better, which is completely reasonable. That's his audience. He knows his audience really well. Dan TDM, longtime Minecraft YouTuber. In fact, he's probably best known for a video that he made in 2013 where he reviewed a mod called Brewcraft. You guys may have heard of it. The mod was made by a, uh, a guy from Virginia. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little mod. Interesting stuff. I assume he went on to do great, incredible things, but... Dan is mad. He's mad that YouTubers are making money. I will say this is a little bit hypocritical. Okay. I'm on Dan's side. I love criticizing YouTubers. It's awesome. I think it's super important too. Like YouTubers kind of give a bad name to everything just in general. And it's a shame that I am quite literally a YouTuber. The most like privileged group of people that have, has ever ex existed in time. <laughs> but I mean, he sold all sorts of merch and, and shirts and, and stuff like that. Like it's not, there's no benefit in that. Like you can't sell a fucking, what are those things? U2s? I'm sure he's had a U2s. You can't sell those and pretend like that's benefiting anyone other than a short-term gratification of some kind of collectible whatever. Like, there's nothing wrong with people making shit and selling it as long as they're honest and sort of upfront about it. A lot of people agree with Dan. A lot of people just hate YouTubers. I sympathize with it. I totally get it 100%. This is definitely not a healthy thing. This is going to be a net negative. Like, let's be real as well. It's going to be an absolute net negative, but the business of selling things and making products isn't exactly an ethical business at the, the, the beginning or end of the day, I, I wouldn't think. I don't think Logan Paul is actually going out there and developing the recipe for Lunchly and fucking K. Like none of these guys have any actual real experience in food products aside from just marketing them and making a lot of money off of them. They're parts of parts that are all parts of a whole. There's not that many examples of small businesses in the in the food production space and the just general YouTube merch space, which makes sense because a majority of the audience that buy shit are fucking little tiny children who don't know any better. Feel however you want about that ethically, I've got to say, Dan, I think he's completely right. They are absolutely selling crap to kids that don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. But I think that if that's the argument, then a lot of YouTubers are completely guilty of that. Like anybody who's ever sold merch ever and hasn't like donated all the profit to some kind of good cause or like it's a rabbit hole, right? But I get his point. I absolutely 110% get his point. And I love Dan TDM. I think he's awesome. I think he means well, but Logan Paul does not like Dan TDM. And he had a really interesting response to... <laughs> 
And check this out. Oh, a really interesting response oh, to this. It's really interesting. I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spent our lives creating content and building our brands. Now we want to build businesses. That's a great response, right? Like, okay, he's being honest. He doesn't give a shit. You know, <laughs> food products, whatever it is. I'm doing my best, man. I don't want to be a YouTube for, YouTuber forever. I want to get naked with men in WWE or whatever the fuck he wants to do and also sell this to children. That's what he wants to do. That's fine. Making money is definitely a really important thing in this world and this life. Absolutely. But then he goes on to say, you don't say anything when Lunchable faces bans for allegedly containing lead, but when we create a better version, you're upset, then don't eat it. Oh my god. Okay, so, <laughs> this is like, embarrassing. Embarrassing. This guy's selling food products. He's attached his name to a food product, multiple food products, and he doesn't know anything about food making food products, which is, I figured he might know a little something. You know, maybe take a let take a course. If you're get if you're getting into something, you might as well get into it, right? He seems like the kind of guy who commits to the bit. The w he's doing great at the WWE thing, great scamming people, etc. And crypto and all that stuff. Like the first part, pretty good response. He's standing standing on business, as the kids say. But the second part, oh. So let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's see what can of worms has just been opened up by Logan Paul. Oh my God, this made me mad when I first saw it. I was like, this guy's an idiot. I already did have a great distaste for this man. Great distaste for this guy. But by God, I try to be as rational and reasonable as I possibly can and non-biased. And a lot of people forgive and forget. Oh my God, whatever the Bible says. He posted this as a response. The main part that I'm focusing on is you don't say anything when Lunchables faces bans for allegedly containing lead. Firstly, Lunchables does contain lead. And guess what? Lunchly also does contain lead. There is not a chance in the world that Lunchly or Lunchables or Feastables, they all contain lead. Everything contains lead, but it's measured in parts per billion. It's a little bit of lead and it's not good. I'm not saying it should be normal and good, but it is normal. This is not a good way to say your product is better than the other product because both products for sure contain lead, dumbass. Then he goes on to post this part, Consumer Reports urges USDA to remove Lunchables from National School Lunch Program, which I agree with that 100%. Oh yeah, also let's not forget the community note. Look at all these different notices. This is just a normal thing in the food business. This is normal. There's lead in everything. Being this guy here is not good. CRR tests find Lunchables and similar lunch kits contain relatively high levels of lead, cadmium, and sodium. All but one contain harmful phthalates. Okay, Consumer Reports, very reputable. They do a lot of testing. They do a lot of awesome shit like this. They're badass. They're based. They're red pilled. They're keeping people regulated. They're keeping the rules. They're keeping the wheels on. That's good. We got it. You know, in the 20th century, lead was a genuine, massive problem. And because of regulations, because of consumer reports, because of the FDA, it's become less of a problem. Still a problem. And it's important for like watchdogs and stuff like that to come out and continuously hold people to higher standards, educate people about the mitigation of lead. But the important thing is, the ironic thing is, is you look up what makes up a lunchly and just one example. Let's see, Feastables lead content. This is a Consumer Report article, the same source that Logan pointed to. Okay, so 36% of the CR's recommended levels. Lunchables had 75% or whatever. Okay, so half the amount of lead. Still, that's lead. How about cadmium? How much cadmium did Lunchables have? Because this has 80%. That's a lot. That's more than Hershey's. That's more than Lint. Lint has 11%. You are promoting a product that is relatively high in lead. Now, it's important to note, this is all relatively meaningless, okay? This is very important to acknowledge this is relatively meaningless. Only in Logan Paul's stupid, small, idiot argument world is any of this at all relevant. Everything has lead in it. Once again, I have to make that very clear. So this isn't bad. This is fine. This is normal. But this is actually better when it comes to lead. This has nothing to do with health or nutrition. Logan Paul is conflating nutritional profiles with lead content, which is so misleading and so dumb. The Lunchables contained 74% of California's maximum allowable amount of lead per day, which I don't remember exactly what it is. I think it's I think it's 100 parts per billion. I think that's what it is. One is 0.1 part per million. That's how they measure lead content in food products. It's not like micrograms or milligrams per kilogram or whatever. It's the easiest way to do it is to do parts per billion. So they're like say between 65 and 75 parts per billion. Maybe there's a bit of hypocrisy here from the defense. All right, guys, maybe there's, a, he's calling out hypocrisy with hypocrisy. This is kind of a really embarrassing moment though, a part of one of the tested parts of the 
product that you're selling has almost as much lead as the Lunchable, which you are claiming your version is better for you than. Uh, what the f*** does that even mean? I don't even f***ing have any idea. But hey, guess what? Everything has lead in it. If you weren't aware, I don't know if you guys know about lead. Lead's bad, but it's also everywhere, and it is really important to mitigate lead exposure, especially to children. There's a lot of drama surrounding, uh, <laughs> drama. There's a lot of of worry surrounding baby foods and lead. Uh, some baby foods have been found to contain very unsafe levels of lead, and, and lead is much worse for children. Their bodies cannot be rid of it as effectively as adults. Plus, they're small. So, like, 100 parts per billion for a tiny 15-pound baby is way more than 100 parts per billion for a big 150-pound stud like me, all right? <laughs> 160 pounds, it's rock-solid doink. Shut up, dumbass. I'm just kidding. Lay down. So lead is still definitely a problem and you should try to mitigate it all the time. But pretending like this is some kind of slam dunk gotcha is so embarrassingly stupid. Coming from a person who is in the food industry actively, like I have a candy company. I we I made the recipe for the candy myself. Like we researched it and we did it and we sent it to professionals, got feedback and through a year and a half of trial and error, got something really good. And like, I'm, I'm aware of the process, but at the very least, oh, it would be nice to know a little bit. It would be nice to care a little bit. This is so stupid. This is troglodytic, guys. This is actually troglodytic. You didn't say anything when Lunchables faces bans for allegedly containing lead, but when you create a better version, you're upset. <laughs> Don't eat it. For one, what? Why would he talk about Lunchables? It's not tied to YouTubers. Also, if you are saying that your version doesn't contain lead, you are just wrong and even more dumb than I thought. Better for, maybe it is better. Maybe it is better. It's probably got less sugar because it's got prime instead of like a Capri Sun or whatever the f nonsense is in a Lunchable normally. Nobody is arguing that any of this stuff is good. This is based and red pilled, of course we should get the USDA to remove Lunchables from the National School Lunch Program. What the f***? You're telling me tax money is going to feeding children Lunchables? What? Of course it is. Of course it is. This is so insane to me. This is such a dumb, complicated thing that is hilarious dude it reminds me of diddy's freak off supplies to be honest but that lead statement is so i don't even know it's it's just dumb it really is so stupid your product it, by the way first off lunchables does contain lead it doesn't allegedly contain lead it's not like people are putting lead in stuff that's like some kind of conspiracy it's in the earth everything on the periodic table in front of lead turns into lead eventually and that stuff's everywhere Kind of. And a part per billion? I don't know if you know how big a billion is, but that's not very much. So, like, you rub your finger on the ground and you eat a little bit of dirt, probably gonna get a few part per billion lead, to be honest. Uh, let's see, actually, percent of the earth is lead. So my argument, by the way, is that Logan Paul, for one, is an idiot, and he shouldn't be saying this type of stuff. You shouldn't be saying the the lead argument. The argument should be like, of course, don't eat it. Do you teach your kids about healthy food? Use this as a moderation snack. He's obviously not going to do that because he cares only about money. But like, <laughs> what? It's so dumb from every single existing aspect. I do like how people are holding people accountable, though, and trying to get people to make better products. I do really appreciate that. That's pretty cool. But uh, OK, so according to scientific data, lead makes up only about 0.0013% of the Earth's crust. So the Earth is 13,000 parts per billion lead. So the Earth is more parts per billion lead than Lunchables. And I assume most of the stuff that makes up a Lunchables comes from the Earth. So we're fighting a losing battle. All right, if anything we're eating comes from the Earth's crust at some point or is in the Earth in some way, seems like there's probably going to be some lead on it. Let's take, for example, maybe sweet potatoes, lead content. They have definitely got lead in them. And guess what? They're way healthier. I'd rather, you know, if I didn't know anything about lead or the Internet, I would probably and I cared specifically about health and I wanted to make a healthy decision for my child. I would think that feeding my child a sweet potato would be better than a Lunchable. But it seems like even sweet potatoes have lead in it. Oh my God, dude, it's almost like everything has lead in it. And like, this is just a basic fact of human life that you should learn and not be this guy gotching YouTubers and just making yourself look like a f fool, bro. I'm all for everybody making money, especially honestly. If Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul come together and make this awesome brand, and it really is healthier, because let's be real, it is definitely, let's see, he probably has some kind of information on the health aspects of it. Okay, yeah, so Lunchly versus Lunchables 
it is objectively healthier. It's a modicum, but it is definitely better. So it's a net negative still because it's a shit product, but also it's a little bit better than the existing ones. And it's probably going to flip that market a little bit. Plus there's electrolytes. They're so healthy. This is so funny and annoying to me. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Curtis said good macros. <laughs> That's funny. 12 grams of sugar. This is much better. I, if I had to choose, I would choose this over this one for my child. But at the end of the day, too, my God, if I had a child, I don't think I would ever feed them any product a YouTuber selling for one, uh, unless it's my product, of course. Oh my God, bro. It's so frustrating. So that's pretty embarrassing and also very epic. I love it. I love being embroiled in the YouTube drama war. Holy fucking shit. I get why people are mad and they hate, they just hate Logan Paul. They hate Mr. Beast now as well. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to see people just like failing. And there's a lot of jobs and stuff that these people give. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? It's good. There's some good to it, obviously. But like at the same time, you know, the criticism is pretty, pretty, pretty fucking valid. And then your defense, the the lead defense is one of the most mind numbing defenses that I've ever I've ever seen, especially from coming from someone who actually is in the food business. And Logan Paul gave the defense uh, of his his microplastics in prime, which I also agree with him. He actually gave a, a reasonable defense for that. I think he's suing somebody over that. That's perfectly reasonable. That's the same, that's the opposite of what he just did. In one prime hydration drink, they found three times the amount of PFOs that you should consume in drinking water in your life. We have a very big multi-million dollar filter that filters the water from the state. Water you drink at home, water provided by the state before we make it into prime. If this claim about PFOs and PFAs is true, what is that saying about your state water? This is the hypocritical opposite of this defense. You don't say anything about Wunchable's face is banned for Wedgeby containing lead. It contains lead. Everything contains lead, bro. Your product contains lead. I just fucking showed you. Feastables, uh, one third of the whole thing contains lead. Just almost as much lead as Lunchables. I can't believe this is a part of the school lunch program, though. That is crazy. CR also tested 12 store-bought versions of Lunchables in similar kits. So they all contain similar levels. Who makes Lunchly? What is this shit called? <gasps> Did they say it's healthy? No way. Oh, better for you. Okay, good. Oh my God. Definitely, definitely better for you. Certainly not healthy. Oh my God, dude. I got a new business idea for Mr. Beast and Logan Paul and KSI. Instead of doing this, make like a blue apron for children that gives them like a little meal kit, teaches them how to cook, maybe, and is also healthy. Instead of maybe capitalizing off just instant gratification with the uh, lunchly, lunchables, whatever the f nonsense, you teach kids how to cook or something like that. I don't know. That's a great idea. I would buy that, honestly. I would buy that for myself. <laughs> but make it for children and give it like a cool little colorful book and stuff. And I don't know. Teach kids how to cook. You want to help? Teach kids how to cook instead of just being like, other ones got fucking light in it and mine doesn't. Oh, oh, but wait, the parts that make up mine absolutely do. And everything that comes from Earth also has lead in it. Burr. Bro is his own worst spokesperson. Embarrassing. Holy shit.